Howdy, folks. Welcome back to the <laughs> podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I hate saying this shit over and over again. This is the third attempt in yeah, trying to do this because, right. you know, it's just technical issues. Internet or something moment. I don't know. <laughs> yep. Uh, I'm joined today by my co-host, Aiden. What's up, bro? What's up, bro? <laughs> and uh, <laughs> uh, we are joined today by Mr. Owen. Yo, the third attempt. Just spilled the Pepsi on my keyboard. Bro, uh, did, did you actually? Almost. That would have been a close. cam moment. Yeah. <laughs> it would have, yeah. Except it's Pepsi, not Dr. Pepper, bro. Um... Yeah, uh, so I guess we should start out with <laughs> introducing <laughs> Owen. This is this is a requirement, all right. So you gotta you gotta you gotta introduce yourself, Owen. Give give us a one word answer, bro. Like give us a one one word to describe yourself. Sus. Yeah. I couldn't have said it any better. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it, dude, Aiden, did you see? Uh, did you see the massacre of messages that? Andy yeah. Sent <laughs> yeah. No, I was sitting in class and I was like, mm, group chat's letting up. I hope it's funny. And then I go in and it's just that. And I was like, bruh, because Mr. Hunt dude. was just lecturing about shit I didn't care about. So I was like, yeah. Dude, you have. I liked every single one. I yeah. saw that. That's honestly impressive. There's so many. <laughs> I, I'm not even joking you. I think there are over like 500 in, uh, of those yeah. in the group chat. And yeah. I was, I, I decided to like them, like every single one, while in Mr. George's class, and he did not care at all. So it was pretty funny. <laughs> he understood. He understood the, the grind, I guess. Yep. Um, speaking of sus. <laughs> Let's let's talk about Among Us. <laughs> wait, no, we have to, we have to introduce. Uh, wait, no, we did introduce. Him. Yeah, we already. Yeah, yeah, bro. What are you talking? Right, about? Let's let into the Among Us. Among Us. Among let's Us. Let's talk about among the us, Among Us. All right. Among Us. Among Owen li- Owen likes to meme on it, but Aiden has a pure hatred for Among Us. All right. So I don't hate Among Us itself, right? I hate yeah. the fact that, like, I can't like. Funnies are no longer funnies. It's just oh look at this thing that reminds us of his, like looks like an Among Us character, and I'm like God fucking damn it! Like everything I see is Among Us characters now. I can't unsee it. I know. So but I was it's sitting funny. in the gym and I like I was looking and I was like, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> what are you talking about, Aiden? It's just a gym, bro. <laughs> I've never even played the game. Like I'm just trapped. <laughs> No, my hell, dude. I'm I'm gonna get my firstborn child. I'm gonna call my I'm gonna call my little crewmate. <laughs> That's a commitment. <laughs> <laughs> a little Among Us character, <laughs> Rat Killer Junior. Dude, I'll I'll take off his arms, only feet. <laughs> Just feet. I'm gonna oh, make it so he he could only live with an Among Us suit, like. Yeah, I, I'd love to see that. Um, no, see, so you get, don't under you don't understand, Caleb. Owen like you, sits at lunch, or like like because I eat lunch with Owen on the days I have lunch with him, right? And I'll like look at his phone, and he's on Instagram listening to the bum 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 <laughs> bum, bum, bum like a meme with that on it. Yeah, I, that does not that does not surprise it killed, me at it all. It killed his phone today. What is your phone at? Did it? Oh, it died. Yeah. Really? <laughs> the Among Us theme was too much. Yeah. It's cracked. I watched my battery slowly drain from forty percent to zero. Yeah, you were the imposter, so they drained your phone battery and <laughs> voted you out. <laughs> okay, can we stop? With- <laughs> yeah, let's let's, let's, let's move on from Among Us. Let's uh, I guess we should talk about the scrapped episode and the chaos that went uh, last time we tried <laughs> yeah. to record a podcast. So this is completely my fault, all right? Uh huh. <laughs> so yep. we, so uh, two days ago now, yeah, 
we were going to record this podcast and i was like for all the other episodes my thought was i'm just gonna ask everybody and we're gonna get as many as we can because people kept canceling on us and and so when we had owen on we we were in the school gang uh like group chat thing and i was like on discord and i was like so boys everyone want to be in a podcast and i got everybody in the call that was it was like five or six people we had a total of eight people and it was pure hell yeah so uh that episode that was supposed to be the uh the episode where we do like this episode with owen because he wanted to come on and uh i think uh I think, Aiden, you said you invited Tom as well, and I was like, sure, that's fine. They don't know each other, but, I mean, it's cool, whatever, they don't care. And then I joined the Discord call, and there's eight other people in there. And they're all just talking at once, and I'm just like, how is this going to (laughs) work? But we tried it. We tried attempting, uh, we tried to attempt to record the podcast. We had everyone download, uh audacity which is the software we used to record ourselves with and uh to sum it all up it didn't go well at all <laughs> yeah not, it did not go smoothly i'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest everyone here. was just talking over each other and just being I blame, complete apes i blame mostly andy and tate yeah as soon as i saw andrew and tate, I was like oh it's over i'm not even get a chance to talk <laughs> no i remember i kept trying to ask you questions you were just sitting there looking at me and i was like oh no this isn't yeah. good yeah, no, it was uh, it was me, Owen, Cam, and Tom that just sat in silence and just watched hell unleashed. Yo, you were on your phone, bro. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, because I gave up, bro. <laughs> I, was just, I did uh, not want to deal with everything that was going on. And you Andy, had to think. That- Andy basically took over the podcast. He was like, okay, I'm the host now. Uh- well, okay, listen, you got you to gotta, like think about the fact that i have to record eight uh, or not record i have to edit eight other vocal tracks dude yeah and figure out which one (laughs) gets arranged into the correct spot (laughs) and it's so it's very stressful and and plus also i was pretty pissed before we started recording the podcast that day because uh csgo is a terrible game and i hate it and i was doing really bad you just gotta you just gotta like Keep playing it. I know, I know, it's just a game, and but I just, I just gotta stop being a poo poo. I used to, I used to be worse than you. So, I, yeah, I know. I hear, I hear stories. <laughs> the negative, like one kill. But um, but yeah, so it didn't go well, and uh, eventually, some people had to leave during the middle of the recording, and. Uh, we decided, you know, we'll still record and just have the, their uh, their vocal tracks, you know, cut at a certain part and just say they left. And then, uh, eventually, uh, Andy, uh, he said that his entire recording got deleted somehow. Like, the file wasn't there. And at that point, we were just like, well, he was the one who, like, just talked the most. So there's no point in recording the rest. So we just decided to all stop recording and just scrap the entire thing so we'll never know what that chaos sounded like or at least everyone that's listening we know what it sounded like and it was awful, awful but terrible i felt i felt bad for owen though because he wanted to come on yeah. first before and then i just saw everyone and i'm just like well <laughs> rip <laughs> well i'm pretty sure but, this would be on like episode like two or three yeah but I mean, that's a lesson learned for Aiden, you know. Yeah. Or at least I hope. All right. The reason I was like wasn't on before is mostly Aiden's fault. Yeah. That's, yeah. I'm starting to see a trend here of it being Aiden's fault, bro. <laughs> Yo, we in cooking class the other day. We made cinnamon rolls, and I didn't read the instructions. He's <laughs> trying to change the subject. Read. Oh. I saw no, a picture of those and no, it looked I'm just, disgusting. I'm just adding another, adding another funny for me not paying attention. I added mm. powdered, so like the the thing, the inside of the cinnamon roll was only supposed to be like butter, uh, sugar, and like baking, whatever. And uh, there's a fourth ingredient for like a glaze that went on top, which was powdered sugar. 
it was like a pound of powdered sugar it was a lot uh and i added all of that together to make the filling <laughs> And then I also, we were only used to, supposed to use half a stick of butter, but I used a whole stick of butter. Right. And, yeah, uh, our dough wasn't even fully cooked. And it was all my fault. And, yeah, I think I've learned a lesson. <laughs> you just gotta pay attention more, bro. That's all it is. I... Yeah, like, the first two times, you, like, or we're having on the podcast, like, I kept asking ask you, what do I need to record? You just didn't answer me. And then you left. I was like, okay, I guess not. What? Like, the, 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 like the first couple of times, I was like, all right, what do I need to, like, record my audio? And you just yeah, didn't, I, you didn't, you didn't answer me. You did not answer me. Like, I feel like I said, like, audacity. Just get audacity. I, I, the, the key word is, I feel like I said. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then, it's okay. <laughs> the last time we got me on. You just didn't tell me when, so I was like, all right, I don't even know what I'm going to do it now. I really heard you in the podcast going, oh, Owen wants to know when. Like, <laughs> so awful. <laughs> it's Owen's time now. to shine, and he's just getting pooped on. <laughs> he's here now. Yeah, I'm he's here now. He's here now. We figured it out. So, I hope we, uh, I, I guess Aiden won't make that mistake again. Um... It's, it's all right. It's a learning experience, bro. It's fine. You're gonna mess up, bro. But it becomes a problem if you keep doing it, so, which you haven't done. But I'm just saying. Yeah, don't make me um, block you in Fortnite. Yeah, bro. Don't, 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 don't. Uh, you know. <laughs> Damn. Um. All right. So Owen. Yes. Plants versus zombies. <laughs> right. I'm it's not playing this love. time. I'm not playing this time. <laughs> It's a, it's a game we all love. Everybody loves Plants vs. Zombies, alright? But here's the question. Which one is better in your opinion? The first one or the second one? Definitely the first one. Good answer. The right answer. Two is good, but like... I don't know. It's too repetitive. Like You know, I don't, like, I don't, I don't feel like spending $5 on a single player. Like... like yeah. I didn't even beat the pirate stage or the pirate world or whatever. I got up to that point. I was like, well... This isn't fun anymore because it's just the same level over and over again, kind of. Yeah. But they give you all the keys now. Like once you be like, just Egyptian, it feels like there's no progression because you can go like immediately to the end. I have not even tried to attempt that. Andy told me he said he got there and it was just absolute like chaos, pretty much, which I imagine it was. Because I'm, yeah. uh, I'm pretty sure the last level is, like, all of the previous, like, worlds combined into, like, the the original, like, Dave's house or whatever. And it's just, yeah, you gotta, like, use your brain to use the right plants, I guess. I don't know. I haven't, I haven't really watched it, so. Um, plants vs. Zombies 3. That's a game that's currently in development right now. What are your thoughts on that one? I don't know. Like, I feel like it's gonna. Have you seen the art style? Yes, I have. It's awful. I remember now. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did they go the Bloons 2D6 route where it's like kind of 3D now? Let me check. Yeah, they gave him. Yeah. yeah. yeah okay. Oh, yeah. Like, it looks so bad. And now there's like. Yeah, I. Yeah. Dude, it looks like something that would be on like the GameCube or something. Mm -hmm. Did you see the the art style that they put No. Up? I'm just imagining it's like the 3D art style like in Bloom Studio 6. Yeah, yeah, well, they, yeah, they gave it a more realistic 3D like look to it, but like, I don't know. They just look off. <laughs> I'll put it in real quick. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, you're right, yeah. And they like thickened the lines and like, no, they thinned them. And what kind of annoys me the most is how the, the walnuts have like health bars now. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I guess. Oh god, I just pulled it up and I hate it even more. Yeah, no, because just... like, yeah, didn't they? Didn't they used to show their health by like if they're cracked or like feeling bad? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's way better. Make sure that's easier to read, but it's way funnier seeing them slowly rot away. Yeah. 
Yeah, I feel like when you see them like break down or whatever, I just I don't know. That's just one thing Plants vs. Zombies, uh, Plants vs. Zombies does. That's just like if you don't do it that way, then it's like bad. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's like the one distinct thing it does where it's just like that's the Plants vs. Zombies thing. Yeah. But I hope the third one's good. I don't know when it's gonna come out. I guess they made a. They made a pre. How do you? I don't even know what word I'm trying to look for. They did a. Um. Oh. God dang it, dude! What is it called when they like launch? They like. Like a, a a beta test or something. Yeah, like a beta test. They they sent that on like the Google Play Store or whatever. Not the App Store because they hate Apple for some reason. But. Because Apple they, uh, charges them. Huh? Apple charges them money to be there. Um, but yeah, they sent a beta test out for people to play it and see what they think of, uh, the game in its first phase development. Yeah, I guess people kind of played it, but at the same time they didn't, so. I guess we'll see how it turns out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give my Plants vs. Zombies 3 review when it, when it comes out. Yeah, yeah. IGN type review. I wonder... It's still weird to me that they have Plants vs. Zombies on, like, the Xbox. Dude. Yeah, like, that's weird. Yeah. But, like, like PC Garden Warfare? kind of makes sense. From Xbox. What are your thoughts playing? on that, bro? Garden All right. Warfare, what are your thoughts on Each that? Each Garden Warfare they make, it gets worse. Like, the first one, <laughs> it's, like, it's it's obviously the best. It, it's perfect. You can't beat it. And then the second one's, like, it's decent, it's okay. And then the third one is just trash. It's awful. It's god awful. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Like they stopped. I they, haven't played them too much to know, but they stopped supporting it like after like a couple months after its release. <laughs> They're like God of Warfare, nah, no more, bro. We gotta focus on the third one. No, I meant like they stopped supporting the third one. Oh, they did. Yeah. Oh. They're like man, it's not doing too hot. I guess we'll just forget about this game. Let's forget about it. It just, yeah. It happened though. It would be kind of sad. Yeah, I like Plants vs. Zombies though. It's a great game. Um, I kind of wrote these topics down as like video game type topics because I feel like it's something we all uh, relate to. Yeah, we're all gamers. Talk about. We're all gamers. So uh, the next question, or uh, not Ooh, question. Wait, I guess wait, it's a wait. question. Can I can I pop in between here with something? Caleb? Yeah, yeah, go for it. So no, your your computer, Owen. <laughs> <laughs> it's the heater. <laughs> <laughs> it's a heater. That's all I'm gonna say. He is a can guys. Mind if I explain? It's portable though, like. <laughs> He a, he There's nothing alienware. you can say that makes it awful because it's portable. He's a, he's he has an Alienware like gaming laptop, but it's like a pretty thin laptop compared to like most gaming laptops of that class. Like if you know about hardware, he's got like like a GTX 1070 in there. Kind of. Yeah, I wouldn't know what that is. It's not, like not, not it's like enough. pretty. When it came out, it was like kind of cracked, and even now it's fucking cracked. But it like since it's a thin laptop, it runs so hot it just burns, it burns <laughs> flesh. Tate, like, didn't Tate burn his arm at the New Year's party we had? I don't think so, yeah. but like, no, like, cause like his arm was like right in front of the vent, and he had to like keep moving his arm while he was gaming. I think he told me he did burn his arm. I don't know. If, I don't know. <laughs> oh yeah. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. The, the funny setup. Yeah, we were like, we were holding hands while gaming or something. Yeah, they were sharing. <laughs> they were sharing a mouse pad. That's cute. Uh, <laughs> yeah, because we were all just packed into Jonah's bar. His bar is so funny to me. That New Year's party at Jonah's. Jonah's. It was in his basement, mm. and like, my computer was in the sink. <laughs> oh yeah yeah because there was no more room on the counter because I, I got like the sink counter that's 
where I was inside the bar and there was no room to set my computer and I didn't want to put it on the floor. Yeah, because Weston and Tate have their, their big boxes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I put it in the... Unlike seat. mine's, yeah. my superior yeah. class of... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just had his gaming laptop, so it took no room. Yes. Like Jonah. Oh yeah, no, I remember. I remember him. He, uh, yeah, Owen, you brought your laptop to the Joji party too. You were yes. On the floor. I was playing Magic Gathering on the floor. Yeah, because he couldn't play anything else but the with the fan. And it still heated up. Like it still heated up. There's there's no game I could play. Like I could play mobile games on my computer, and it'll still heat up. Got games on your phone? <laughs> like, fine. Yeah. yeah. Like, I, 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 I half regret buying this, but like, I still don't care. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, if you had gotten like one of the cheaper ones with like the same kind of specs, like the Acer Nitros, those are poopy. You would have had to replace the hard drive so many times. Like, both the people I know with, uh, Acer Nitros at, uh, school have had their, like, the hard drives on their computer fail. They have to always replace them. Dude, I'm gonna- I'm gonna cry when th this thing breaks. Yeah. You're just fucking nice. Like, hardware-wise, you can still game up for, like, for the next few years, bro. Like, with- I like, hope so. I hope I can get a job before this thing breaks. And I can see you working at like. Mm, where, where, where can I see you working at? A McDonald's. No. You wouldn't fit in. Yeah, I. Don't. don't I'd. Yeah, I'd don't hate it too it. much. No, I'm. I'm thinking about like maybe KFC. I can see you there, yeah. Or oh, the win. You should. You can't the do that because that's where. The Seth yep. store. Not no, I'm pretty sure he got fired. That's where Stinky is. He, he doesn't work there anymore. He got fired. Yeah, big Stinky he man did. got fired. Yeah. yeah. What was it for? Eating all the chicken? Probably. He, he drank all the... <laughs> the fryer oil. He, ate he all the gravy. probably caught, like, picking his ass. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine that. Bro, he, was, like... Uh, I, don't, I don't mean to get, like, anti-autistic, but, like... <laughs> <laughs> He's worse than autistic, like when I when I made uh the cinnamon rolls for cooking class, uh there there was like one of the autistic kids like there in our kitchen washing his hands and he splashed water everywhere. Like we went to start cooking, I was like, bro, all our shit is wet. <laughs> like, he splashed water like two feet outside of the t a two feet radius around the sink. And then, like, I, like, after he finished washing his hands, he, like, I, I washed him, started to, like, pick his ass with his fingers, and I was like, bro, <laughs> you just washed your hands, <laughs> now you're ruining it. Well, we got the poop fingers, bro. <laughs> A little bit of spice on them. Do it, stop. I can't. <laughs> And it's the oh, Nintendo dude. kid too. And you know what? This I gained respect for him again though. I was walking, uh, Mason brought me home today, and I was walking down the hallway and I saw him, and he yelled at some girl with pig hair. He was he said, "Look at another dream, Stan." <laughs> <laughs> That's and I was like, I was like, all right, all right. I can get behind this. <laughs> Let's go, dude. <laughs> dude, I I look at random people in the hallway. I'm like, I'm just thinking, I I should insult them. I'm like, I bet he listens to the, the corpse. <laughs> dude, corpse husband. <laughs> corpse is like good, like good for the guy that he's doing what he wants to do. But like, mm -hmm. I was there when he was doing the horror readings, because you know Cam is a scaredy oh, yeah. cat. So whenever I slept over with him, we'd listen to like the scary Reddit stories on YouTube, and we always did his videos. And yeah. Then, and then he disappeared. It came back as a bongos streamer and singer songwriter. <laughs> Lost all my respect. 
I only worst see of all among us. Yeah, like his songs are funny. I guess like I listen. <laughs> yeah, I've listened to them. It's like it's they're like, not bad. They're I like, enjoy if them. If you took if you took like kind of trap or drum beat and then had like kind of metal kind of screaming over it, kind of like not really. It's more of a whisper. It's just because of how harsh his voice is. It gives the same like kind of screaming. Like, yeah. Aspect. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't listen to his music at all. You should. Uh, know, every time I try to watch listen. a YouTuber song, it's just like it's either a joke or it's well, just no, because really his bad. isn't. His isn't like a YouTube like song. He's just like trying to get into music. Except for Joji, because uh, Joji's funny. So. Yeah. Well, even Pink Guy, when he was still like doing YouTube funnies, is good. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I agree. Uber pussy, good song. You know where I want to work? Right, we got st- huh? I want to work at the win. That'd be the funny. Win. I can see that. I'll, I can do. Dude, I, can I can see can... you being a waiter. Yeah, yeah I. Dude. I would love. I would love being the, a dish boy. The, the bartender. <laughs> no, I'll you. Walk over you can't. Because we're literally right next to you. I know. You gotta be eighteen. Yo, wait. I could be a bartender now. Yo. Yo. You have to be you have to be 18 to be a bartender because you can handle alcohol like in stores and stuff when you're 18. Yeah, being being a dish boy at the win is probably the least human interaction like job around here, yeah. and I'm, I'm all Dude, for it. I hate people. You got steak and shake with me. You know, if I just want to drive me, I would. Hey, yo, Caleb. <laughs> You give I would a ride to Steak and Shake when you need to work. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I refuse to bring him to that hellhole of a place. Do you, uh, do you have the Jonah situation, Owen? No, mine's worse. Do you, do you just can't trust your parents to let your parent to uh, like get you your sister or whatever? Yeah, like my dad, I don't know his schedule and. I don't trust my sisters, but like, <sighs> would crash on the way to get you purposefully. Yeah, like I don't even know if they're still living with me or not. Like they're living with me, then sometimes they're not. It's cursed. You just don't know. Them. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're at the point where like I sh- they just like go missing for like a week, and they come like, "Yeah, hey, I'm back, yo." And well, you're just like, I, I didn't even notice you were gone. My mom was still working. That's what I. That was. That's what it was like. I mostly lived on my own. She was always working. Dude, I love living on my own. I. I it basically was, do. It was so nice. That, like yeah, it was so nice. I would like as long as you have food and stuff, it's probably like all the hood. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I just gotta like make whatever food I want. I'm always basically home alone. Just gotta like be quiet when she's trying to sleep because she got home at, like four in the morning or whatever. Yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with that, bro. Are you saying you're cooking food at four in the morning? No, well, sometimes. Mmm. And I remember mm. when the COVID shutdown happened, she was working a show out of state, and I was going to be home alone for three months. Really? So was, yeah, and she was going to, like, stop in and have people check up on me and everything just to make sure everything's all good. Because I was still 17 at the point. Well, no, I might have been... I was 17, yeah. And, uh, you know, I, like, I was just sitting on the couch in my underwear watching anime. And then, and then she just Aiden walked face. through the, <laughs> she just walked through the door, and, I, and it was, like, 11, and I was like, oh. And she was like, yeah, they canceled the show. Don't you have school tomorrow? And I was like, uh. <laughs> You're just there, <laughs> like, almost naked. <laughs> yeah. Because they just shut her show Hate down. to see it. It sucks. Yeah. It happens, I guess. Um, I guess we can move on to the, the next topic I have written down here. How many How many topics do we have? Uh, we just don't have that many left. Um, so I hmm. would start stalling. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways... <laughs> I wrote these all down before I went into work today, because I was like, oh yeah, we have to record tonight, I'll write, I'll write some topics down before, so when I get home, we can just start right away. Um, what was your guys' childhood video game? 
Ah, I see. Um, um Mario Galaxy. Uh, I I could go. With I that, played but the I'm, shit out of it. I'm game. older. I'm older than that. Just cringe. How young should he go? Well, really, like, like, what was the game you played the most as a kid? I like, I'm thinking like back, like when we had first gotten the Wii at my dad's house when it came out, like 2004. Oh, that's, that's Mario Galaxy, dude. Well, yeah, no, but Mario Galaxy re was released, or at least we bought it further in the Wii's lifespan, like when we were more. Oh, growing up. gotcha. So I like, yeah, I played. Oh no, it, no, I, I bought like, my Wii when it first came out too. But I'm just saying, like when the yeah. game when it came out, I played it the most. Like, yeah, I, no, like, I played like yeah. Wii Sports. <laughs> yeah, yep. yeah. Uh, my childhood hey, childhood game Wii Sports. We play it like there's like we play is cracked, bro. It is that fucking tank game. Yeah, yeah, that game's cracked. I like I still have my Wii and it's the black Wii, but it's the last version that still had like the GameCube support. But it's it's so scuffed. Like it's like I tried to take it apart when I was little, but then it got stuck with the torque screws, so it's just half taken apart. <laughs> and I had lent it out to like a refugee family, and I got it back like two years later. And there were five discs stuck in stuck in the disc drive, but it still works. <laughs> All right, back on the topic of like, I I, I would say like three childhood games. I have like two on the DS, which is like be like Kirby and like one of the Pokemon games. Yeah. The Kirby I had, it was like the one where like just splits up like ten different Kirby's. Mm, it was Andy would know the answer to that one. Oh, it was Kirby Mass Attack, I think. Uh, and then I had one on the Wii, it was Skylanders. Oh yeah, I remember Skylanders. Skylanders was good. I also on the DS I think I had I had one game that I really remember. It was like an ant colony game by Konami. I don't remember the name of it, but like you managed an ant colony and like fought wars with other ant colonies and like had to scavenge for food. And I played the shit out of the game until like the card didn't work anymore. Yo, where's my boy Trigger Happy? Yo, yo! I just have him like a box to my computer at all times. My, my little brother still plays Skylanders sometimes. I was gonna say, like, when you said you played the shit out of that uh, that ant game or whatever, I just, I don't know why, but for some reason, I just imagined when I went to, when I went to, uh, your, uh, apartment, Aiden, or your dad's or whatever, and I just saw your brother, like, play the shit out of Mario Maker <laughs> on the Switch. Dude, he is, he has a problem, bro. He's a fat little <laughs> shit. I don't care if he listens to this. Like he, he's not he's not that fat like he's lighter than me and my dad because i'm like i'm the heaviest on him which is kind of sad my dad's like 200 i'm like 210 and he's like 120 which is pretty light but kid has no yeah. muscle on him so it's all fat i just like in his... I, i'm sorry i couldn't help but laugh when you said you know that fat little shit <laughs> he is like, you like, just bully your brother for being fat, dude. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't fat, bully you. Dude, dude, he broke our couch. Because it's not even that he's fat. He just doesn't know how to manage his weight. So he'll just, like, put his full weight on everything. Which, if you, like, that's yeah. how you break shit. Like, you can throw yourself at something, but not, like, hit it with your full weight, you know? You can spread it out. He, uh, he sat down on the couch, but he did, like, the little, like, shift and jump kind of thing, you know? Kind of like jumped on it. Oh yeah! Broke the couch. <laughs> oh my god! Dude. We had just gotten this couch. Like it was a cheap couch, so my dad didn't care. He just fixed it. But like, it was just yeah. a sunken seat. We were like, bruh. We literally, cause two seconds earlier, we had told him go easy on the couch. <laughs> cause my dad got it from a college dorm, so you know it's already been used well. Used well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Otherwise known as se <laughs> um, <laughs> segregation. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like shout that. out to shout out to Aiden's brother, I guess. Nah. For, don't shout out for to for breaking the couch. <laughs> Smell that <laughs> shit too, doesn't shit. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I did notice that actually. Bro. I I get mad when he sits on my. I have a futon. There, 
And I get mad when he sits on it. I like play the Wii or some shit. Cause I'm like, hey, bro, you're gonna stink up my bed. And I'm gonna have to get a new one, bro. <laughs> Dude, I was at when I was at uh, your dad's apartment. I like noticed the stench coming from your brother. <laughs> I was like, yo, bro. You, yeah, and it's you're funny because they had man. gone out to like leave us alone for a little bit. And then he came back and I was like, oh. Yeah, you're, yeah your brother is definitely the big stinky. Yeah. Are your sisters like that one? No. They're messy and annoying. But like, and I don't get them sometimes because they're women. <laughs> but like, they are, they are like, they're not stinky, they're just messy at all times. Yeah, they're, like, unorganized? Yeah, like, they're so messy. It, it, it gets me so... I'm annoyed at them. I hate them. I, I despise. Mm -hmm. Like... Dang. One of them's loud and annoying. And then, like... Alright, like, they just don't take care of themselves. Like, they, like, they, like, cook something, spill flour on the floor, and don't pick it up. The and then I walk upstairs, I have to step in and be like, oh, I guess I have to clean this up now. I remember when you did the cooking stream, there was something left on the floor, and you were like, bruh. <laughs> you see the, the, the disappointment in my face, so I'm like, oh, yeah. it's happening again. Every time uh, this week, man. No, she, she would leave her pumpkin outside, so like, you know, after Halloween, I'd be like, alright, Halloween's done, your pumpkin's starting to rot, you want to take care of it before, like, you know, it literally rots the cement and stains it. Like last year, <laughs> and then my dad had to clean it up before that happens, you know. And she's like, "Nah." And she's trying to like make it off like as she's like play for us. I'm like, "No, it's not funny. Just go clean up your mess." She's like, mm, "No, it's fine." I'm like, "Okay, just clean up." She's like, "Okay." Five days later, I'm out there shoveling it up. <laughs> it's so bad. Like, all right, I would keep this house. Spick and clean if they weren't there. Like yeah. as soon as they move out, I'm keeping the house clean. It's gonna stay clean for the rest of the for rest of my life. As long as I'm here. Yo, you so go. you you gonna clean Ren King then? No. No. Mm -hmm. You see Aiden. Yeah, we are a hive mind, we will take care of ourselves. That's true, yeah. We're all just gonna be like a bunch of people living in the same house. We're still gonna join a Discord call. And just play games with each other in different rooms, even though we're all in the same house. <laughs> like, you know what's gonna happen. No, I believe, I believe we talked about Red Gang on the Tay episode, so I don't think we can explain that. Yeah. But, no. no if, if you're messy in Red Gang, we'll be cranking nines on you. Yeah, you will. You're gonna, like, fight death threats on my door or some shit. We have to try and get, like, one no. of those... We have, to, we have to try and get one of those old shitty houses. With like the you know like the shitty doorknobs, like the shitty old doorknobs or like the crystal doorknobs. I live in a house in Grand Rapids with those. That's that's the kind of thing you need because then you have like the old shitty wooden door that you can just carve into. Yeah, I'll uh I'll pay you guys a visit every now and then so I can see what's what the updates are with Rent Gang. <laughs> just see how more chaotic it gets. I'm gonna just post like girls on my door yeah Kale's gonna come here and then, room. <laughs> and then some, somebody's gonna be missing and be like oh we killed them we hated them <laughs> Weston will be gone because he played too much cringe music. it's most likely gonna be Weston I'm not gonna lie <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah I'm just gonna like gonna I don't know when Weston dies I'm just gonna take his device. bed <laughs> it's just gonna be sitting on the kitchen counter from cleaning yeah. Yes, sir. By the way, I oh, think. It... Hmm? Go no, go for it. I think I'm probably gonna be sleeping on a couch somewhere in Ring Gang. Yeah. But you're gonna have a dedicated computer room, right? Yeah, and hopefully a machining room. <laughs> the garage. Yeah, it's probably in the garage. I'm definitely buying a machine. Like I don't care what anybody says. Like for, I mean, you're taking a tech class for it, so might as well. Yeah. It's what I would like to pursue in my career. Machine things for people on Etsy. Yes. No, it was so horrible. I had to do like three hours of like just blueprinting and like making the craft. And like, 
I go to school, I'm just looking at, like, things made on metal, like, I can make that right now. <laughs> like, I can, I can see, I'm seeing, like, the design in my head, and it hurts so badly. See, I have engineering, and it's funny, because I don't have to deal with that. I'm just, I'm doing, like, the software side of, like, the design. And I'm 3D printing it. I was gonna say, uh... I can see the rent gang house just like in the kitchen is just piled with dishes that nobody wants to do. No, because I like I'm a really messy person. You should all know that, right? Well, yeah, but yeah. I have a breaking point where like there will no, just be good. there. There is one day where I will look and be like, fuck, and then clean everything. I like <laughs> it's usually on days when I'm home alone, which means I haven't gotten to do it in a while because of coronavirus. You see, when I when I start cleaning, I can't just like stop cleaning in the middle. I have to like go all the way. Yeah, exactly. Like they're they're like I'll just look at this and can be like, fuck, I'm gonna do this right now because I don't feel like going to go get a dish and have not there be one. That didn't make sense. Dude, I feel so bad bad for my dad. He had to clean up after my sister after she moved out. Oh, mm -hmm. Damn. Like her room, it literally just it was nasty. It was greasy. There's like rotten pizza. Uh. There's rotten pizza like rolls like sealed to the floor. <laughs> oh, and there's so there's so many like dishes. All right, yeah. Another thing gets me like like for the last like three weeks, I don't know what's happening. But I've, sometimes I've only had like one spoon and one fork like in the kitchen. Bruh. It's like I just have to like clean a fork every time I want to do something. <laughs> Fight for That's the what fork. it's like sometimes here. Like we'll come home without ever using any dishes, and there's just none. It's understandable because we only bought one of four-piece dish set, so we have like four big plates, four small plates, four bowls. So like, run stuck shit runs out really fast. But like, no, we we have like twenty forks and twenty four spoons, but they're all in, they're all in her room. <laughs> <laughs> they will never be able to be used again because we can really find them. Yeah, like, all right. She t she has like five glasses, five of her nice glasses that she just stains with like the paint and stuff. <laughs> and it's so annoying. Like, like I don't care if she uses just one. Just one is enough. But you don't have to like grab like five different like good nice looking glasses and just stain them. And then she puts them back in like the cupboard. Yeah, I'm like, alright, time to go take a drink of water. Time to, I pull up a cup and it's just the rainbow colors. That's terrible. Yeah. So I have to like sift like I have to like sift like five different cups to find a good one. I had to crack down at my dad's because we have a super shitty dishwasher, so you have to basically pre-clean the dishes before putting them in. And uh so Leland, uh, you know, the main user of dishes, just like like leave, first of all he doesn't take care of shit he just leaves like he'll leave milk sitting out for like five hours and my dad will get home and be like why is the milk and he's like oh oops uh it's all right and i'm like bro like and it's too often too and so he'll like just leave his dish there and then just go start playing whatever fucking video game while still shitting himself while being sick. <laughs> and then my dad comes home and he's like, Whose dish is this? And then he goes, Oh, my ramen. I was gonna clean I was gonna I was gonna take care of it. And he was like, Yeah, alright, take care of it. And he just goes and like like kinda like barely rinses it off and then puts it in the dishwasher. And you go to he get, deserves to die. And then you go to get like a dish out of the clean dishwasher and it's stained with ramen and shit and you're like, This isn't clean. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I try to keep my room as tight as I can. Yeah, I've noticed because, uh, that. If I ever see things on the floor or my bed unmade, I just get really bothered, and I just dude, you would hate anyway. my room. <laughs> yeah, dude, I would. If I, dude, Aiden, I everything, would really clean your room everything, if I saw it. Everything is on the floor in my room. Like my bed is on the floor. <laughs> oh, you got you guys have yet to see my room. So my bed. No sheet, by the way. Um, there's like a a three foot just hole in it. <laughs> what? The cock hole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I put me and my giant chode in there. Perfect spot. Nah, uh, mine's mm -hmm. not that. Is yours on the floor though? <laughs> mine's basically on the floor. 
but you still have like the little tiny like thing. We have a bed. I have a bed frame, but like it's been the same bed frame for like eight years. So the corner's like broken off. So it's like on an angle sometimes. Yeah. See, I uh, my my uh, my bed is a twin mattress. My mom is like for, like forces me to buy new sheets. Like even though my old sheets would have worked fine. Uh, and just like it's just a twin mattress on the floor in the corner of my room. Uh, it's comfy though. But, like that's I, I like. I just realized my my sleep my sleeping situation. I literally look like a homeless person. Yeah, yeah. Cause I've been using the same blanket for like eight years as well, and it's like a quilt type thing, and like it's like sewn up, but like some like decorations are just like ripped off, and there's just like gray areas, like half gray areas, half like pretty decorations, and then my pillow is a U shape. It's a U pillow now. Damn. Do you uh, do you wash it every now and then? No. Well, yeah, I mean, for a while, I had, I, I used to have a trim, but I just didn't have sheets on, because I just put them on really shitty, and then they'd come off, and I was like, oh, oh well. So it was all, yeah. you know, brown. Yeah, I kind of forgot you're supposed to wash pillows. Are you? Damn. Yeah, because you, like, your grease gets on them. Oh, yeah, that's, that, I don't use a pillow, so, like, the top part of my bed is just a different color. You don't use a pillow? No. I don't, what? like, I feel like... How do you sleep? They're uncomfortable. Dude. You know, like, there's different kinds of pillows. Like, there's the hard, like the harder ones. So yeah, like I just, I just like ones. the straight bed. Like, sometimes, you know, like, if I'm on my phone or something, I use the pillow to prop my head up so I can look up. But, like... Yeah. Man, you're a different breed, bro. Well, I mean, that's, that's without... Like without... You sleep on the floor. Without a pillow, you, you get, like... Half like the sleeping positions in the book just get cut off because you can't do it all that. So you have to use like one position basically. Nah, because I I sleep on my side. Without a pillow? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's weird, dude. I think my mattress is just old enough to the point that like my shoulders just sink in, so it just matches up. Okay, cause like on your side? Yeah. Sometimes I'll like sleep on my back or my stomach, but I still have my head turned. Okay, if you're on your stomach, bro, I guess. I might as well. I might as well sit up while I'm sleeping, bro. <laughs> no, I I used to, I used to have done that before. I used to like sit straight up and like put a pillow on my back and like sleep. My blanket. I don't sleep with it over me. I like have it covering like half of my body, but like on the side. I leave my ass hanging out. Yeah, that's a, that's a good one. Yeah. Someone wants to take a yes, chomp out of it. It's been too hot, but you just. Um, nom 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 nom. <laughs> no shirt, but lately it's just been the undies. Yeah. Why are socks so expensive, dude? I don't know, bro. Dude, why is toilet paper so expensive? That's. Because uh, everybody pooped too much, bro. Man. Yeah, bro, that's why I'm constipated, bro. No toilet paper. No, so I finally, I finally went and took like the rest of the massive shit that just didn't want to come out today, and I went and sat down and I looked and there was no toilet paper and I was like, <laughs> "Bruh, <laughs> <laughs> what do I do?" I looked because we keep ours under the like the bathroom sink, so I just looked because it's right there, and we had one, and I was like, "Oh." <laughs> What do you like? What, okay, what are you genuinely do in that situation? Like, you're in the bathroom. Uh, like, okay, let's say you're in a public bathroom and you and you are uh, you know taking a shit. There's no toilet paper left. What, well, like, what is your what is your resort to action? Personally, I would probably just like uh try not to be too messy. I would hibernate. Pull up pull up my pants and just try and like walk wherever I could to another bathroom really fast <laughs> I know a lot of people would probably just like scoop with their hand <laughs> I wouldn't dude like I, if you scoop with your hand that's just that's, I don't know. know I feel like I've been in that situation before but luckily it was a, like one of the few lucky clean shits what do you what do you mean scoop with your hand like you, you like wipe with your hand. You just like rub it on your hand. 
Oh, that's gross. Yeah, it is. Gross. <laughs> I would wanted to know that's, more. That's details. why. That's why I would rather just like try and find another bathroom with toilet paper. I'd rather. I'd rather not. Yeah, that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to like pull it up and you're supposed to like shuffle like. Yeah. It's 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 on your ass. It's not gonna go anywhere. As long as and so you wipe like, it. With as long yeah. as your undies don't get stuck on your butt. Yeah, I'm like. Then it's over. If they do, then you just. I don't know about you guys, but when quarantine started, I like I wasn't wearing underwear. I was just wearing like PJs. No undies. You know, it's the worst thing that people do sometimes. Wear jeans without any underwear. That's terrible. Cause for me it was comfy. It was like when I put underwear back on, it felt restricting. I was like, bro, my balls feel tight, bro. They hurt. <laughs> I didn't realize how good the freedom is. See, for my my uh. My plan, if that situation ever happens, if, okay, let's say there's no one else in the bathroom, my my uh, plan is to uh, simply pull up my pants, walk over to get paper towel, and just use that. Oh, so yeah, you could do that. Stuff. That's probably what I would do. Yeah, any, any, anything other than the scooping hand method is fine. <laughs> the pooper scooper, bro. Like, yeah, I agree with that. Or whoever uses that method just it's just a psychopath. How'd we get to this? <laughs> Alright, on to the next topic. <laughs> we went we went from we went from childhood video game to like rent gang to sleeping arrangements to finding out if you would use your hand to scoop your poop out of your ass if you were in the bathroom. Yeah, the I I'm trying to think of like what we said like late up led up to this. I'm like, man, I can't remember. It just, just happens, dude, I guess. Alright, what's next, Caleb? Um, alright. What's your guys' favorite video game of all time? What's the best video game? Ah, that's tough. Um. Mine's pretty simple, but I'll let all you guys kind of figure it out. I'm looking at the games on my desktop. <laughs> <laughs> no, not that anime game. No, not that anime game. No. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, it's, th it's not this, but like, from what I played of it, I really like the story of Yakuza Like a Track, and like, it's one of the few story games I've generally, like, enjoyed. I really, I really like Fur Honor, but it's not that high. Alright. I, I like Fur as well, but like, my, my, probably my favorite, as in quality, and like, what I saw out of it was probably Subnautica. Uh, it's I'm such a beautiful say, game. Uh, honestly, maybe we're either uh, might be like a three-way tie. Uh, Red Dead, Sekiro, yeah, and uh, Dark Souls Three. Yeah, that makes sense. All those games are All right. really well. Good. All right, it might be Monster Hunter as well. Yeah, Monster Hunters. I don't know, there's just a lot of good games. It depends if you're on your own or not. Yeah. yeah. You want to take a wild guess of what mine is? Uh, Doom Eternal? No, Mario Galaxy. Yeah. <laughs> it's, okay. It, it was my childhood, but, like, for all the right reasons, because, like, I don't know. The Man, game? Caleb, I really want to set you up with like an emulation machine just for you. Like, I want to make one for you. Wait, like, what is that actually? Uh, so I don't know if you know what a Raspberry Pi is, like the mini computers. No, I don't. Uh, basically they're like, uh, mini computers that run like phone CPUs that you can run like Linux and stuff on, and make your own like software for. It. And you can get like literally just emulation stations that just like you get your ROM you put it on there for the system and you can play this game like yeah you're gonna be doing with a modern controller so you kind of got to figure out the controls but like you can just play the game and I have I have a pie that I could do for that that I really want to use and I'm so tempted bro because then once you once you get this stream the retro games. 
Dude, I yeah, I need to do that. I seriously need to. I don't know how to set it up. Though. I'll set it up for you. All right. All right. So it's just uh, capture card and what else? Is uh, that it? Well, I I have one that you can borrow for a bit. Damn. Oh yeah. I also like. All right. I don't know if you guys have you guys ever played Kingdom Hearts. Yeah. No, I know what it is. Though. I played the worst one and I still kind of enjoyed it. Yeah, I love Kingdom Hearts so much. Like it is a good game. Yeah. It was probably the first. No, the first game I ever played was like Skyrim. I'm pretty sure. Skyrim is pretty good, I I wouldn't say it's my favorite. Like, I knew I was a gamer as soon as like my sister like they're like for like basically capable of like playing games and she's like ah, this boss is too hard I can't do it I'm a weak woman I'm like you fool let me attempt it my dear sister she's like ah, you won't be able to do it though on the first try I'm like you weak fools Dude, I look at my hands like, like I played I'm, the I'm, worst Kingdom Hearts I played Kingdom Hearts recoded on the DS and it was terrible because like the story just didn't make sense oh yeah it's very confusing <laughs> Was from the store, and there's like these random red cubes that just killed people, and I was like, "What?" But um, it's such ah, oh, and the BGM game music, so good. Yeah. Oh, Kingdom Hearts uh, might be my favorite. Um, I'll, uh, I mean, if you, if it's okay with you, I'll borrow the, the capture card. Well, the thing is, like, I don't have it. Well, why would you tell me you could <laughs> borrow it if you don't have it? No, because I was like, Cam probably wouldn't mind if you asked him, like, to have it. Cause... But then you got it, then he couldn't find it and said you had it. And you're but like, I, never, I don't have it. I never took it. I remember going to his house and I was like, Dude, you got a capture card? That's cool. And he was like, yeah. You want it? And I was like, no, I'm good. I don't want it. You can keep it. I don't have any use for it. He was like, all right. And then well, he... I it's, guess I'm buying one. Then, it's it's Cam. It out. I'll raid his house and look for it. Dude, playing <laughs> playing Kingdom Hearts on the PlayStation Two that was one of my greatest memories. Yeah, I wish I had a PlayStation Two. I mean, yeah, I kind of wanted to check that. I didn't, even, I didn't even do the PlayStation Three. I remember. It's on. It's on it's Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty. I'm pretty sure it's on the PS Four. I, I uh, was on the Xbox 360, but it was like in the, when the Xbox One came out that I got an Xbox 360. Oh. Dude, I could buy it for $7. Mm. <laughs> well, like, Alright, Mario Galaxy, it like, okay, for me personally, I love all the controls in the game. A lot of people don't. Or not a lot of people, some people don't, because a lot of people like the game and its controls, but I, I love how it just works, and Ooh. I like, uh, what? It's just, like, the way Nintendo did it that was so good. Like, as, I know, it was As bad just, as they are, they were, like, know, they, they, didn't, the, they didn't make the motion controls, like, a gimmick. It was, like, genuinely just yeah. part of the game. Yeah, no, I felt like they did it right that time, and it just worked well, and, uh... I thought that, um, I, I don't know, something about the pacing of the game was really good. Yeah, I remember because, playing it as a kid. Uh, yeah. And there's just, like, I don't know, it's the, the variety in the whole game is really good, because it's, like, you, you kind of have the same objective for, you know, it's Mario, you have the same objective all the time, but when you're playing Mario Galaxy, it's different because each, like, I don't know, each galaxy, I guess you could say, is, is, is its own separate thing. There's different parts about it that make it different. So, I don't know, it changes it up a lot, and I really admire it for that. And then, I think the biggest part for me is its soundtrack. Like, like Mario Galaxy is, like, the best soundtrack I've ever heard in a video game, I'm pretty sure. Just, there's so many bangers. Dude. But, I won't get into it too much, because I know I know Owen doesn't want to talk about music. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, let's talk about Daft Punk splitting up. Wait, wait, right? wait, wait. <laughs> we we didn't mention this that on this recording, the previous re attempt at this episode. Oh. You get one minute. What? One minute is. Yes. Other than that, I'll delete my recording. Okay, so we. It was my fault. 
I basically invited a bunch of people out of nowhere, and uh, it was just you, terrible. You said this already, Aiden. No, not in the beginning of this recording. Yeah, we did. No. Aiden, it was the previous yes, we recording. Did. We talked about it, did we? Man, yes, we did. Yes, I wrote it down. <laughs> okay. Let's, uh, I guess we should talk about the scrapped episode and the chaos that went uh, last time we tried <laughs> yeah. to record a podcast. So this is completely my fault, all right? Uh-huh. <laughs> so, yep. so uh, two days ago now, yeah. <laughs> it's on the paper. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, okay, all right. I thought you were gonna go into it, like what you were gonna say after you explained the fact that we did the scrap episode. But all right, um, I yeah, but yeah, Mario Galaxy is just a good game, and if you said if you say it's not, then you know, you're, uh, you're a different breed. And I don't like you. So, um, I guess let's move on to the next thing that I wrote down. I think it's an interesting one. Uh, where do you guys see video games looking like in 10 years? Uh, <laughs> what does that look probably like? Probably gonna lose a lot of good games. Like, what do you mean? The, like, the more like funny games or the violent games or like really games that parents don't like and they're just gonna get gadded. So you think that the games are gonna become like less violent and more like family friendly yeah which is gonna end up being bad i think that the game quality over the years is gonna go down and there's gonna be like no like there's gonna be no like star games anymore i feel like yeah because all new games hyped up are just like they're not decent. They're not like, like if, if people like 2060, they're not gonna look back at the games like me like at this time. Be like man, that was such a good game. It was my childhood game. Like no, you're gonna you're gonna get that one guy that's like man, Dark Souls three, man, that's a good fucking game, man. Yeah, but that game was made like when it was made. 2016, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We're living in the era where the best games came out are still coming. I don't know, I feel like, as as far as, like, devices go for video games, I feel like there's gonna be some wacky shit. Alright, I, I feel like the people who, like, started making games, like, a long time ago are not gonna make any more good games. Like, they're on, they're on their back burner of good games. I feel like, usually new people making games, like, it could go nice, but, like, basically new games, if it's, like, a good idea, it's gonna need, like, a lot of support from, like, just people in general. And like sometimes they just don't get that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, we'll see. I guess we'll I guess we'll see what the future be looking like in like ten years from. Hopefully it's not bad. Because I still want to be playing some good games. You know. Yeah. Most of the new games will just be like this game part two, and it's like okay. Yeah, they're gonna have GTA eight. Las Vegas pooping. You know. I feel like nowadays it's hard to find like a unique concept for a game. Cause like you you try to make another shooter and it's gonna be like like eighty different million games. Yeah, like Fortnite yeah. or COD Warzone or PUBG. Like all those games. Yeah. It's just I don't know. They have to put a big twist on it in order to, you know, mm. get people to be interested in it. Yeah. Because, like, all right, well, Cyberpunk, I guess, it kind of had a, a bit of a twist on it, but it still kind of flopped, I guess. I would say. Well, it really flopped because people with, like, PS4s from, like, seven years ago were like, <laughs> they're like, man, hey, man. And not running. And we're like, man, it's literally a brand new AAA game. What did you expect, bro? 
It said PS4, man. Like, why ain't it running though? <laughs> I feel like sometimes developers shouldn't listen to their fan base sometimes. Yes, please. Like if dude, they if they had only released it on PS5 or like only PS4 Pro or something. Because PS4 like Pro Nintendo like struggled a little bit, but like yeah. Like I, I feel like Nintendo listens to its fans the most than any other like video game company. Uh, sure about that one. Yeah. Yeah, I mean you know it's kind of like impossible to find their music now though. Okay, that's one thing though. There's, like, if but people are asking for like remakes, like people wanted, uh, like people wanted uh, 3D All Stars from like you know the, the first three 3D Mario games, and you know they did it. Yeah, but for a limited time. Yeah, but they still did it. They didn't have to do that. Yeah, but they literally just ported it over. Like, I understand that. Like, but yeah, it's cool they whenever. still did what they the fans asked for. That's still, that's still technically doing what their fans ask, bro. I'm just saying, they do a lot of poopy things. What are you talking about, bro? What do you mean? They've a little bit like, there's so many, mu there's so much music you can't find, and they shut down all those tournaments because, you know, bad publicity, and they try, like, they're just trying to remove everything from that the fan base makes for games. Dude, there's like so many, like, Nintendo related YouTube channels right now that are still doing YouTube. And they're not like dealing with that stuff, I bet. No, but the game makers. Uh, I don't know, man. If you don't believe it, just look it up, bro. Tell me. Uh, maybe. I don't know. Maybe. You know what part of game companies I also don't like? Just the, the exclusive games. Yeah, those are kind of poopy. Like I don't want to, I don't want to buy a Switch to play Monster Hunter Rise. I'm sorry, but like, I hate Switches so much. You do? Yeah. But it's sporting. Mainly because I don't have one, but like. <laughs> bro, just get the I Switch have, Lite, I bro. Switch. I have a Switch Lite, bro, and I sold my Switch to Danny. Hmm. My uh. My Switch isn't that great. The Joy-Cons are fucked. Like, it has Joy-Con drift. Like, bad Joy-Con drift. Yeah. And I can't play it on on uh, the, the device itself, so Let's I try to play I have, games just by TV. I have the... the uh, there's a company called 8 that makes games that are controllers that you can, like, use with that. So, like, I just have, like, one of, like, the smaller controllers that still has all the buttons. That I just bring with me everywhere and use that most of the time, just because I don't want that on it. Because I'm a Switch Lite. <laughs> if you get that, that's like the console itself. So I'm using as little as possible. Show, sure, show. Sure. Um, guys, I have we've reached the end of uh, the the list that I wrote down here. Yeah. Is there, uh, is there anything else you guys want to talk about? Um. Any ideas? Anything you want to discuss? Hmm. We're, we're a little over an hour anyway. Wait, so did we talk about, did guys. we talk about the, uh, funny autistic kid in this episode? Yes. Yeah. It, yes, I right. talked about it already. Can we talk about Aiden's memory loss? <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's bad, bro. <laughs> What's up with that? <laughs> nah. Yeah. I'm just giving you shit, bro. I, at least we have people who are not bad at that. <laughs> Alright. Um, if you guys don't have anything, then... Uh, Actually, are you... Could call it What's that one? Is there any games you guys are, like, hyped about that haven't, like, officially came out yet? Like, not, like, officially come out. Like, they're, like, it's gonna be released. <laughs> Breath of the Wild 2. Want me to be honest? Yeah, that's a good one. Metroid Prime 4. <laughs> <laughs> I've been waiting for that game ever since it was announced, bro. Bruh, good luck playing it in 2077, bro. <laughs> No, I'm just joking. I'm sure it's. I'm sure that game's gonna release by uh, like 
probably next year. It's funny because I, I remember looking for it like on Walmart and shit, and there's people that pre ordered the fucking game. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that yeah. was like, yeah, what, dude. three <laughs> years ago now? Yeah. I, God, dude, I remember when it got announced for the first time, people went ape shit. Because, yeah, like, Metroid Prime for the Wii was an insane game. It was so good. I know. Like, yeah. I'm not, like, I'm not the biggest Metroid fan. I love Super Metroid for the SNES. I grinded that game. But, uh, I never played the Metroid Prime games a lot. Yeah, I, uh, see, I had the DS Lite, right? And the game, I got actually more playtime in than the Ant game. Was, <laughs> uh, Metroid Prime Zero Mission for the Game Boy Advance. I had I like a thousand plus hours in that game, bro. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Yo, you gotta chill, bro. You know that game I forgot that was coming out? What? Hmm. Arc 2. <laughs> <laughs> how big is it gonna be, Owen? How much you gonna need to delete the dome? I don't know. <laughs> apparently, it's, apparently, apparently it's coming out in 2022. I know. Like, I don't know how the like, how the game is gonna play out because, like, it looks like it's gonna be like more story based instead of like just like survival. That's kind of cringe. I don't know, but like, this is why because all I remember from the trailer is just Vin Diesel, but like, you know. I also want Dying Light Two to come out. I don't want my. Uh, I'm also. Uh, I'm also looking forward to the second Bendy and the Ink Machine game. I'm one of those people. Do you, you guys ever play that game? No. no. I haven't even watched it yet. Nah. Oh, yeah, it's such tabs. a good game. <laughs> the what, can you see it? What? Yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> no. We, no, we, we just know, dude. <laughs> How many tabs do you have open on? More than like 30, but like... 36 uh, this time. I gotta cut that down a little. Two more than... Uh, no, 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 no. 30. You guys excited for Overwatch 2? No. no. <laughs> Not at all, Andy's, I think Andy's gonna buy it just to see how fast he can get banned. Yeah. That's something he would yeah, do. No, because he's banned permanently from the first Overwatch. <laughs> I know, he told me that. That's so funny. Uh, like... Yeah, I'm not an Overwatch guy at all. I so guess, yeah, he I used to less. be. Used to be back in the day. I know you guys probably don't care, but like, I can't wait for uh, Total War Warhammer 3 to come out. Mm. I don't know. Warhammer. Why do you... It's not for me, but. Why do you guys play real life Warhammer if you can play that game, bro? No, that. Listen, that's. That's. It's not like actual, like, just Warhammer. It's like. It's Warhammer, but like, like Total War. Like Jonah type games, but it's just Warhammer. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> like it, it, yeah. nothing in there actually. Like the way you play in that game it has nothing to do with the way you play in real life. Uh, and see. you guys are like um, Dark Souls, right? Yeah. Have you have you seen like the Mortal Shell one? Wait, is that one of the mods? No, it's like... It's like Dark Souls, but like, it's a different person made a Dark Souls type game, but like... It is a really cool concept, I think. So, better than, uh, Code Vein. Yeah. See, Code Vein is funny. But like... The levels, dude, it's... Oh, it's so like... They just amp up the difficulty by like adding more, but then it's not like good. There's like just like some stupid thing that just stuns you and lets the weak guys get you. Hey it's, yo, you struggling right now? We about to make it work. But it's not really that hard. Like, oh and how long did it take you to beat it? I don't know. I think it was like two days or something. It took me like a couple days. I had I had um I had trouble on, like, the, like, the, the two bosses at once part, like... Yeah. 
think that's where I'm stuck right now. But she kind of baddie though. She Anyways, is. I don't get how people can do like like solo. be epic if there was like an MMO Dark Souls game. <laughs> you know like the like the like the anime MMO style games where it's just like all the people fighting the monsters and like farming like uh uh what game uh World of War World of Warcraft type games but like Dark Souls style. <laughs> yeah, like okay. I still want New World to come out. Is that the next one? No, that's like the Amazon game. <laughs> what? Jeff Be Amazon. Jeff Bezos making a game, bro? Yeah, have you not heard about this? Like, I've talked about this so many times. It's like his own RPG, the, an RPG game he made. <laughs> Jeff Bezos type RPG. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, that kind of sounds kind of good. I have to try and get that. Can you not see the gameplay for that? It's literally cracked. Is it like all 3D and shit? Yeah. Alright. Spinaka Below Zero is also really close to releasing. Oh yeah, no, you're gonna, you're excited for that one. I definitely am, yeah. Bro, I just, I was leaving my head for the corner around my fingers and I just, without even looking at it, I made an Among Us character. <laughs> <laughs> No more Among Us, bro. That's uh, uh, that's probably a good stopping point there. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's it's um, ten. Before we uh before we close it out, I just wanna uh I just wanna tell you guys um to, to just don't say anything and just listen, all right? Just listen with your ears. Can you hear that? We're waiting, bro. Come on. You guys can't hear anything? No. No. Exactly, bro. But the audience can, and they're listening to, guess what, bro? The podcast thing, which you can go download and listen to right now on the PogChamps. Yo, podcast, really? Bro. How long did yeah, you make bro. it? Bro. How long did you make it? Well, I guess technically speaking, I I didn't upload it yet, but... By the time this episode comes out, it's gonna no, like be how long? Already out. How long, long are you gonna loop it? Uh, I'll probably go for like just under a minute, probably. All right. Time to but yeah, if you're interested slack. in listening to the, if you're interested in listening to the to the podcast theme without us retards talking over everything, then go uh, go check it out on the the Bandcamp. I'll try and remember to link that. <laughs> Yeah, if, if we remember, of course. If Aiden remembers. Well, uh, hey, man. I, <laughs> the last, I didn't link anything for the last few episodes. But I don't think you yeah, said to link I mean, anything. Well, we still mentioned the fact that we'll probably forget, which is, you know. Yeah. yeah. This one, but, I'll try. Um, Just try to remember we'll try. when you we'll send try. it over. Yeah, I will. I will try to also remember. Um, Owen, thanks for coming on. We, we loved having you, and... Uh, yeah, we'll talk about more Among Us next time. No. You don't want to be on another one? You don't want to be on a hell podcast with other people? No, like, listen, I want to I wanna do one with Jonah so we can, we can battle that, each other. That is, that is going to be... Un- that would be must. interesting. I want to do a Would You Rather episode with Jonah. Yes, but <laughs> it's, it's going to be like three or four episodes in the future. Yeah. You gotta be at least because yeah. that other would you rather episode is still right there, the bad one. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. We were, end- but, we were um, ending it, weren't we? Yeah, we'll end it now. Thanks for listening. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, what do you want to say? And, uh, we'll, uh, we'll, Last uh, words on the podcast, yeah, bro. So, when do I get paid? <laughs> rat <laughs> Thanks for listening, guys, and we'll uh, yeah, we'll catch I'm you next name time. This one, Peace. the rat killer episode. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha